Secret passage. Under the manor. It's like a detective now. Three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? What is this mask supposed to represent? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? This padlock is too complicated for me. Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Time has weakened these structures. It looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. I don't have time to search them all. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Table for sacrifice? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. 
I got it. It can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Is it. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin. writing mean? Dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protocols? He will join you shortly. Get back. Show. Get back. You asked for it. Get out of here.
Light. At last. There, he's opening his eyes. He's sleeping. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too! We, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What happened to me? Where am I? <coughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to fight. They trapped and hunted me, pursued me right into their dreams. They swooped all over their maps. So 
don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. I saw the nurses at work on a patient. It wouldn't be good for me to get caught. You must avoid them at all costs. If someone found out that I released you from your room, I'd never find work in a hospital again. So nice of you to worry about me like that. Do not be unpleasant, Mr. Pierce. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? Am I in an asylum? What did they inject him with? Sarah. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? What did he write about the painting? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doc. find a way of getting rid of those two myself. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will ya? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system.
go take a look. Anybody around here? I saw something over there. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. Now for the next step. This valve controls the pressure. Possible to break this chain with my bare hands.
This lever must turn on the gas machine. <coughs> I've got to hide before the guards see me. <coughs> Who did this? Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings! You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Is she cursed because of something she did to you? No, no, it's because she's cursed that she harmed me. On purpose. You say that Sarah Hawkins harmed you. If it were only me, her conscience, her guilt were eating her away. But she never wanted all that. Well, not really. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! What the hell? Oh God. I got I got it. Look. This is insane. What killed him? Need to move on.
goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Mr. Pierce, how do you How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as... guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? These you two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? 
Of course, he's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly, but he made a strong impression on me. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? 
He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. I could use one of those. The 
man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Damn. This dagger looks different. Don't tell me that you're going crazy, too. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? It, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene.
Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. An old diary. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break blood? Seems like amateur work. To whom does this footprint belong? This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ah! Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in the safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Arkham editions? Never heard of him. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let though, dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume not The Chalice of Knowledge. Fine. Azathoth and other horrors seemed particularly relevant. The Queen has little protection. I never tire of browsing through them. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. 